I am Anthony from Hazelsnet, and you're watching 10 Questions. Today I'm here with Enput of Enput's Toy Reviews and Stop Motion. I will ask 10 questions about his experience as a YouTuber as well as what led him to, to onto that path. Uh, hi, Enput. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, I have 10 questions to ask you that I more or less ask everyone, but just specifically for you. If at any time your responses leave an opening, I may ask a follow-up question. Are you ready to begin? Are you ready to begin? I am never ready to begin. Then neither am I. Awesome. So question number one, what entertained you while growing up? Everything. That is too quick an answer. I mean, it's true. Everything. Movies, cartoons, outside, people watching, playing with toys, comic books, movie. I mean, just everything. So, uh, are you a fan of Transformers at all? No, not really. No. Not, not okay. a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Maybe, Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, uh, what made you decide to start a YouTube channel? Uh... I honestly don't know. I had, well, okay. I had a, the channel that I have now was a video game channel before it was anything else. And there was a lot of stuff video game wise that was going on that I was, I was upset about certain things, you know, um, GameStop being the most particular one and um, the way they were really handling things and treating me when I worked there. Uh, it was just me kind of, putting my thoughts out there and whether they were angry, happy, depressed, whatever it was, it was just me putting my thoughts out there. And, um, and then the channel set dormant for, I don't know, like three or four years. And, um, then it became what it is. And I privatized all the, the video game, uh, related ones, uh, or related videos. I think that there's like two of them up that is whatever. Um, but that was pretty much it. So, and then I guess this would be a two part question. When did your original GameStop rants begin? And then when did you start getting into the stuff you're doing now? Um, so yeah, like I said, the, um, what I'm doing now, there was like maybe like a three or four year gap. Like I said, the channel just dormant. I didn't do anything with it. Uh, I had a second Google account that was attached to was it google google plus or google whatever yeah the plus Sultan is recently went into, yeah yeah um and that was my youtube account that i would leave comments with and stuff like that and uh but the input side of it just stayed dormant and i actually at one point even forgot the password so so how long ago or was it that you started this new thing that you're doing uh Two years ago, three years ago, something like that in that range. Okay. Um, and yeah, it's just this channel was just going to be like, um, kind of like a like a slice of life with a bunch of Transformer stuff thrown in because huge Transformer fan and stuff. So, um, and it just kind of it kind of evolved to what it is now, and it's just essentially me being me doing stop motion and uh customs and live streams and reviews and whatever kind of tickles my fancy i put it on the channel so speaking of uh what did you initially do when you came back to your channel was it all of those things you just mentioned or was it specifically stop motion because obviously it's named reviews and stop motion right. but, but was that originally your goal um, well, my girlfriend just, I was sitting at the house as far as the stop motion stuff goes and I was really bored and, uh, she just, I'm a huge animation nerd and, um, she was just said, Hey, why don't you pick up stop motion? And I was like, okay, where do you begin? Right. You know, camera, well, you got a phone, right. That takes pictures. Um, and it just kind of, just kind of steamrolled from there and just kind of kept going and, um, yeah, it's kind of, like I said, just kind of became what it is now. It's just out of just being me being me essentially. Okay. So what do you think brings people to your YouTube channel now? Um, 
I mean, maybe we, we go kind of a ranking system. Like, do you think the stop motion is the biggest one? And then your general reviews or maybe uh, your, your, you have a program that happens every uh, every Saturday or maybe, you know, how, how do you think it ranks for viewers of your channel? I, hey, well, I don't I don't think people come for the reviews, honestly. Um, but I'd say they come for the stop motion more than more than anything and then they come for the, the tales from teletrain podcast which is on saturdays which is what you're talking about and then uh and then after that it's you know it's just they essentially like just come for for me i guess you know because it's you know it's my channel right so uh i would i would, I would rank them in that order <laughs> uh, he ranks himself third you heard it everybody that's it yeah. Okay. So, uh, what changes do you have planned for your YouTube channel in the near future? Uh, what What should we expect from your channel coming up? Um. Well, Transformers season five um, is a continuation of the G one cartoon, and once season five is over, I'm going to animate a season four movie that is continuing uh, Rebirth, the G one cartoon from season four. Um. And then from that, it'll go into season six and seven and so on. And and then just kind of eventually kind of uh, wrap up after uh, Machine Wars, which will be season seven or eight or something like that. I, th I want to say season eight would be Machine Wars. Wow, you really have that planned out. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> it's planned out a long time. So, because uh, I, I kind of have to ask, uh, Machine Wars, anything to do with Beast Wars and Beast Machines? No. Uh, so, basically, the, the idea is to fill in the gaps. And um, if, if I had T-shirts, the t one of the T-shirts would probably say, uh, if Hasbro won't finish it, I'll finish it. Or I will, <laughs> or something like that. So. Um, it's just, it's essentially just to kind of fill in the gaps and, and close the gaps and, uh, kind of give, I mean, uh, none of, none of it's official, but to kind of give, you know, fans some closure on what may have happened, what might've happened, could happen, whatever. So. Okay. So what changes would you like to make if you had unlimited resources? Um, I'd buy a Ferrari. Is it's that not a change to your channel, though. I mean, obviously, unlimited resources would buy a Ferrari. Although, if it was me and a Ferrari was a requirement, I'd, I'd have to have that Ferrari be able to transform. Well, if it was a if if it was a requirement, it would have to be a Testa Rosa for me. So, um, but honestly, nothing. I mean, I wouldn't even say a better camera because the camera that I use for stop motion is really good. Um, uh, I mean, I've got everything that I would want for the setup as it is right now. So, not really, not really a whole lot. Maybe nothing really, to be honest with you. So, uh, we're going to move on to some talking points. Uh, so, you 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 mentioned tales from Teletran. And you do that every Saturday. Uh, how, how do you organize? And um, you obviously have some regulars, uh, Rolling Redneck Reviews and Danny Dolphin. Uh, mm -hmm. So how, how do you go upon deciding on the topics and uh, basically putting an episode together? Uh, so at this point, it's the Tales from Teletrend show itself is pretty formulaic. formulaic. Um, you know, toy pickups, news, uh a cartoon episode review and you know we're doing all of g1 and we're on episode 76 next week of or by the time this airs or whatever we might be past 76 but we're basically going through all 98 episodes or something like that of g1 and then from there we're moving on to the japanese anime g1 animes we're talking headmasters uh, so, and stuff yeah okay. yeah headmasters master force and victory and then from there we'll go. We're going into like Beast Wars, and so basically the goal for the episode reviews is to do every episode of every series, every Transformer series ever, uh, for the podcast, and just kind of give our thoughts and stuff on that. Um, and as far as the topics go, um, 
the topics usually I will come up as I talk through talk to people throughout the week or whatever. You know, if I'm talking to Danny throughout the week, uh, or Triple R, or Crimson Raptors, or or Cato, or whoever. You know, um, if if I think it'll be a good topic, then it kind of becomes that topic for the week. So. Okay. So another thing you've taken up is doing customizations and you, you have somewhat of a back catalog, one of which is mine. What made you decide to do that? Because like your big thing is, is redecoing the siege seekers. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I've been doing custom figures for a while now for my first one was like 12 years ago, Mar Marvel legends figure that I did like 12, like 12, 12 years ago. Um, but so I did a character for Triple R. He did. He wanted a custom seeker, um, and I did one for him. And then uh, he wanted another one done, and I did one named Hellstorm. And he gave me free reign over it. The first one that he that he had me do was uh, an OC from uh, Transformers tabletop RPG type of thing that he played back in the day. And um, and then the second one he just gave me free reign. He's like. I'm going to send you a hot link, do whatever it is, you know, whatever you want to do, do it. And I did it and I posted it on Reddit and it got a really good response, uh, more so than I thought it would be honest. And it just kept steamrolling from there. And then, um, I had a few people, uh, hitting me up for, for prices on things. Um, to have their you know their figures customized and whatnot and uh, and it never really even crossed my mind i was just kind of doing these um uh, you know for friends or for myself or whatever and um and then at the end of the sunstorm uh custom showcase video that i did for siege sunstorm that i made um i'd gotten such a good response people saying they wanted me to do commissions for them i just kind of threw it at the end of that video that uh, yeah, commissions are open if anybody wants to hit me up. And truthfully, I didn't really think a lot of people would, but a lot of people ended up hitting me up. And um, that just kind of went from there. Okay. So returning to the questions, um, did you wish to mention anything else about your YouTube channel? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tales from Teletran every Saturday, 6 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And um, Transformers Season 5, um, when the episodes come out when they come out. But they're always being worked on, you know. So, um, that's... And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And custom showcase, you know, for custom figures and stuff and upgrade kits. Uh, that's that's mainly what I'm mainly what I'm doing now. I don't do a whole lot of figure reviews because I kind of feel like everyone does a figure. What you know? What what am I going to add to uh, an Earthrise Thundercracker review that nine million other people have already said? You know. So. Okay. So then, uh, do you have content on other outlets, and how how can people find more about your content? Now, I have Instagram, which is Instagram.com slash n d a s h p u t, yep. uh, or n dash put. Uh, and then YouTube is youtube.com slash NPUTS and puts and then reviews and stop motion all one long line of uh, yes uh, it, it is one long yep. <laughs> a custom name there yep <laughs> can, can anybody find you anywhere else uh, you, you do mention you do customizations is there anything on a website or something that people can look at uh, just really it's just on my Instagram and Reddit um, Reddit I, I post to Reddit um, as as things kind of come along and get finished. I do um, uh, like upcoming custom teasers over on Reddit. I don't necessarily do it too much over on Instagram. Um, Instagram is kind of becoming like a mixture of the toy stuff and my car stuff, and 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 essentially it's kind of becoming more uh, more about me more so than it is uh just the uh, toys um and that that's a little bit slow slower going but it's it's starting to go that way um kind of in a sense the same way that what happened with the youtube channel you know just 
whatever happens, happens. It is what it is. Um, but so, yeah, I'm on Reddit uh, input, you know, just it's the way you see it on screen in the logo input. Uh, that's where I'm at on Reddit. And then on Instagram, it's in dash, but spell out the word dash. So. OK, well, thank you for talking with me today and everybody else. Go check out his Instagram, YouTube, catch him on Reddit. Uh, the description will have the links to uh, things. Also, don't forget to check out Transformers Reviewers. Uh, we're on uh, over 40 other reviewers are available. You can check them out. And then also uh, check out h &E Games. Remember to like and subscribe to everything. Uh, if you have multiple accounts, every account, subscribe multiple times. Uh, like voting. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you, Input, for doing this. And goodbye, everybody. Cool.